it's day eight now, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm excited about today because it's advanced selfie day. Da -da! This is a term that I learned from one of my favorite YouTubers, Sorella Moore. She started taking advanced selfies when she was traveling by herself and wanted high quality photographs. So pretty much what I'm doing today is a full on photo shoot with my good quality camera, tripod, I've done my makeup, I've got outfits planned, I've got locations kind of planned, and I pretty much do the entire photo shoot as the photographer, director, and model all myself. This appeals to me because it's kind of a good way to step up your Instagram game a bit. I also think this might be fun to do with my band and save us money on having to hire a photographer. And I'm mostly interested for it because I am on both sides of the lens. I do photography. I also like showing off my outfit through photography. Um, I use an Olympus camera and I found an app on my phone called Olympus Image Share. And pretty much I can use that as a remote control for my camera. Now I've got a mirrorless camera. I'm sure it's the same with most DSLR cameras of any brand. You can probably find an app, as long as it's Wi-Fi compatible, that allows you to use your phone as the trigger and also allows you to see what's actually happening on the camera screen. So I feel like that is the game changer when it comes to advanced selfies. I've done so many photo shoots when I was a teenager and kind of also more recently where you set up the camera or your phone and you hit self timer and then you run and you pose and then you check the photo and it's always rubbish and you do it over and over again and spend so long doing it and are never happy with the results. So I'm really excited today to be able to see what I'm doing on my phone screen to be able to trigger it from right here so I can do multiple shots without having to run back and forward and this way I can pay more attention to how my body is posed because that's something I'm still totally not comfortable with. Uh, what my face is doing because God only knows what my face is doing most of the time. And I'm hoping I'll get some photos I actually like and I'm proud of because I have complete... Blah, 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 blah. Because I have complete control, complete control over the situation. Say cheese! Alright, so I'm about to start the first part of my shoot. I'm wearing this little wedding veil that I found in a $2 shop a little while ago. It's one of my favourite props. And otherwise, I'm dressed pretty basically. I'm wearing like blue jeans and a white turtleneck. And so it's kind of like a casual wedding kind of vibe. Stuck in isolation, so in my bedroom. Um, and I think I've already named the shot in my head, it's called Housewife. Because yeah, I've spent the past three weeks in my house, in isolation, with just my housemate and my boyfriend's company, and I've kind of felt like I'm married to the house. But it's a very loving marriage because I've been cleaning it like crazy and I'm really proud of how the house is looking. And so yeah, this is my wedding photo to my house because I'm now a housewife. Anyway, I'm gonna get shooting. Hopefully I get the hang of using the remote trigger and hopefully I get some shots I like. I really wasn't happy with how the first shots were turning out. And then I turned off my bedroom light and just used the tiny crack of sunlight that was coming through my door. And suddenly everything was amazing and I got a whole heap of portraits like this. I only had about half an hour before the sun went down so I didn't get a wide range of shots but I was still very happy with the results I got. Hey everyone, it's day nine, I hope. And today's new thing is the to do not list. If you're anything like me, you live off of doing to-do lists. I have done to-do lists for as long as I can remember the concept existing. I do them for pretty much every day, regardless of whether or not I have work things to do. Sometimes it's literally just get out of bed, get dressed, wash your hair, that kind of stuff. 
I also have huge to-do lists for the future. I have weekly to-do lists where things get moved from one list to the next week to the next week. I love my lists. And sometimes I find them very, very helpful. I don't think I could live without them, but a lot of the time they cause more stress. You just see this long list of stuff that you haven't done at the end of the day. You keep putting them off. I've had make a website on my high priority list for the past like 13 months, I think, and I still haven't done it. And so while I've been watching a lot of uh, productivity content, one really interesting thing I came across is the to-do not list. I have a quote from Tim Ferriss, kind of the ultimate man of productivity, where he says, what you don't do determines what you can do. And I think in its simplest form, that's what gives value to the to-do not list. You write down things that you shouldn't be wasting your time on, that you don't want to do yourself, maybe somebody else can do, anything like that and that enables you to have the time to focus on what's really important. So I've decided today to make my own to-do not list of things that I find myself doing most days, but I know I really shouldn't, especially if I want to get stuff done. I've also made a regular to-do list for me today as well, and I've put quite a few things on it because I'm thinking if I stick to my to not do list, I might actually have more time and therefore be able to get more of my to-do list done. My to-do not list, or to not do, I just titled it, do not do. I found that they were pretty much all of my barriers to having a good day. So the only thing stopping me from being able to do whatever I want to do with the day, whether it's work, whether it's cleaning the house, whether it's recreational, the things stopping me from that are that I snooze all day, that I don't bother getting dressed, that I binge watch YouTube and Buffy and scroll endlessly. And if I'm not allowed to do those things, if you actually make it a rule, write it down, say it out loud that you cannot do those things today, then you actually get the stuff you want to get done, done. Oh hey Theodore. You sitting at my desk. The only problem I think with it might be if you wake up in a particularly bad mood and you just don't want to respond to any kind of authority or rules and so you look at this list that you've made and you're like, nah, I'm gonna make it a point of snoozing and staying in my pajamas and watching as many episodes of this show as I can. Um, so I feel like if you wake up in a really bad, grumpy mood, maybe the not-do list is not something you should do. But otherwise, if you're just really wanting to enrich your productivity, I reckon try this one. It's something completely different and, you know, if you like having little boxes to tick, why not? Give it a go. Today is day 10 of my 14 new things in 14 days challenge. Before we start, I do have to be honest about one thing. I've been taking longer than 14 days to get through these. I've had a few days off. I don't know if it's the task of vlogging it or if it's how daunting it is to try new things or if it's just being overwhelmed by the state of the world at the moment. It's been too much for me to do one new thing a day. I think I've had about three days off so far. There are some days where I wake up and I'm just like, no, it's not gonna happen today. Maybe I need to go out and do some grocery and supply shopping and by the time I get home, I'm pooped and the sun's going down and it's already so dark in here anyway. Or there have been some days lately where I just wake up and I can't, like, I'm just kind of sad. Part of me is like, no Haley, you have to do something, it's only one thing, surely you can manage it. But another part of me is like, this is probably the only time in our lives ever that we're going to have nothing to do as adults. Like, I feel like a teenager again, having all this free time, being stuck at home, I'm getting all these new creative ideas in fields that I know I'm definitely not an expert in and I have the freedom to do them because 
it's like no pressure. And so a large part of me is saying rather than always being go, go, go and having to be productive with this time off and having to learn so many different things and be prepared for life when it comes back, you don't have to. It's totally okay to have a day off or a weekend off and just do nothing, veg out, eat junk food, watch TV, watch movies, watch YouTube, just nap. So I want to say sorry for not doing something every day like I suggested and I also just wanted to let you know that I was having days off in case me posting about doing 14 new things in 14 days was making you feel like you hadn't been productive enough. <sighs> Productivity is so dangerous. We shouldn't be measuring ourselves against other people. I just wanted to create this video series to document myself trying new things and to encourage you to try new things and maybe give you ideas of what you can be doing while we're all stuck at home. So, day 10. But technically it's probably been two weeks so far. But day 10 of the challenge is Photoshop. Photoshop is exciting for me because it's something that I really, really, really should have done by now. I consider myself to be a creative who kind of does many, many fields because I like to do everything for myself. So even if I'm, you know, in a band that's putting out a song, I'm going to do not only all the social media for it, but I'll probably do all the band photos for it and I'll do all the artwork. I just like to do everything. I'm a bit of a control freak. I have also sometimes been commissioned to do things for other people. So I've made gig posters for clients. I've done photo shoots and headshots and live photos, AP artworks, social media campaigns and profile pictures and logos. I've done a lot of things and never ever used Photoshop. I haven't even opened the program. I don't know where to start. So, I figured it is finally time for me to learn how to use Photoshop. Now, I have spent hours watching YouTube tutorials on it because I find it really daunting. I don't know. Computers don't come easy to me. All the beep boop, beep boop. I don't know. I don't get it. So it turned out that before I could download Photoshop, I actually had to update my operating system, which first they meant backing up my entire hard drive, and then I found out that I couldn't update the operating system and had to get a different older operating system. Anyway, it is now many, many days later that I'm finally working on Photoshop. Here I've actually taken the advanced selfies you saw me take earlier in this video, and I'm editing them in Lightroom, just playing around with the colors and making them all look kind of consistent and moody. And then after that, I've gone into Photoshop with one of them to make the thumbnail for the video you're watching right now. I did sneakily use Photoshop quickly for the other two thumbnails for the previous videos, but it's safe to say that I've got absolutely no idea what I am doing. I find some things very intuitive with it and some of it makes absolutely no sense to me and I keep mucking around and messing everything up and undoing everything and I've got a lot more learning to do, but I am really excited about all the possibilities and creativity that Photoshop lets you explore. I'm gonna try that again. Hey friends! Hello! 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 I've forgotten how to talk to you. It's day 11 and I just almost got started without you. Um, today is Tai Chi day and I'm not going to pretend I know anything about it because I don't, but I have spent a lot of today watching videos and reading up about it. And so now I got really excited and I was just about to go and start and then I realized I forgot the whole vlogging thing. But anyway, I remembered you, here we are. Why I'm interested in trying Tai Chi. I'm sure, like many other people, I have done countless at-home yoga practices. It's kind of lost its charm. It's completely about the exercise and about stretching, and I've lost any kind of spiritual connection that it once had. Tai Chi isn't yet on every shopping strip with $40 classes and, I don't know, fancy, trendy accessories and all that. But I think the main reason is because it is about the balance between spirituality and a physical practice and I find that really interesting. 
And the more I've looked into it, the more it does seem to be about these opposites. It's about pushing and pulling, breathing in and breathing out. It's a fighting discipline, but also a meditative and health meditative, meditative, but also a meditative, but also a health discipline. And I think it has a lot to do with yin and yang. And even I was out for a walk earlier today and I'll see if I can put a photo up for you. I walked past this cat on a porch and its face was divided down the middle, half white, half black. And I saw this and I was like, that's a sign. I've already written down that today is Tai Chi day and now the universe is telling me as well. I feel like personally, I need to find a lot more balance in my life. And so finding a practice which is based on this idea of balance feels like it's about right for me to try plus I really liked watching Avatar and that's how they summon the dragons and stuff I don't know it's exciting it's interesting it's so much more interesting than just doing normal stretches that I've been doing for my entire life or going to the gym it's something that I feel I could always learn more and more and more about and that's why I want to give it a try and so I encourage you to give it a try as well so that I'm not completely by myself all the time. because my favorite part of ballet was always the port de bras, the carriage of the arms. And that felt very similar. It was just about flowing between different positions. And it was quite challenging too. So I think I'm gonna keep that one up, hopefully. Thanks for tuning in and watching me move around my living room. <laughs>